well done. That jump up to mark 300 games on the weekend. Uh, a mark of excellence, endurance and determination. Drew Petrie, welcome again to AFL 360. Yeah, great to be here. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a solid week so far. Yeah. Um, plenty of nice things are being said at the moment, but uh, just looking forward to running through the batter with my kids and, and then once the siren goes, it's just another game. It is, it is the milestone, I think, 300. Um, do you feel like you had that in you? At what stage of your career did you think, actually, oh, I've got, I've got a decade and a half in me here? Yeah. Not until I'd gotten through 250, had thought about the possibility of reaching 300. Um, I think Dennis Pagan said when I was a youngster, don't count your games, make your games count. So that's always been at the front of my mind. And uh, this is, uh, I, I think I would have felt if I didn't sort of reach this milestone or, or last this long in football, that it, I probably wouldn't have achieved what I, what I should have given. I was had great people to learn off throughout my whole career and um, yeah this has just happened you know 16 years of footy this has just happened to come along this week the 300th game. Your three coaches if there might be more Pagan, Laidley, Scott. Yeah Crocker filled in for half a season. Yeah. And yep. Crocker's been through there all throughout so he has, he's yeah. been a constant. Foundation from Pagan? Absolutely. Give me your second favourite saying to you, or your <laughs> oh, favourite yeah. saying. Where do I start? I think a few old uh, employees of the footy club have said that they could write books on uh, Dennis's one-liners. Um, were you scared of him when you were right? Yeah, I think that's a good summation. I was scared, intimidated, um, but it was the foundation that's helped me get to where I am today. Uh, he taught you respect, hard work, uh, not to get ahead of yourself, son. Um, he wouldn't like you doing all this media this week, Drew. <laughs> oh, I think he'd, I think he'd really? allow it. I think he'd allow it. <laughs> Uh, it's funny though because as scared and as intimidated I was of Dennis when I first got there, he, he, he's got a real estate business now on my side of town and I've got an investment property that I let him look after. So <laughs> it's funny how you just gravitate back to the people that you know you can trust. And Dennis Pagan, is one of those. Pagan. What, what sort of player were you under Laidley as opposed to what sort of player you are now under, under Brett Scott? Yeah, under Dean I got thrown around a, a bit more. Um, I, I'd had some okay seasons as a forward but then wasn't getting a kick for a little while there, and That's I got sent up back. At yeah, time. played in the back Ruck. line. Yeah, I played on Jonathan Brown, Nick Rewalt, Fraser Gehrig, um, Get me David Meads. Me I know. Here. I've never been so physically ill after any game apart from having played on um, Rewalt Re Re and Rewalt and uh, and Jonathan Brown in about 06 it was. So in their prime. Are you tipping your hair there, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> no, Drew. Just, just a different definition that cameras were used back then. So that's, that's just a, not a yeah. good look, Drew. No, it wasn't. The things you do when you're a bit younger and you know, just a quiet country boy trying to fit in into the city. That's all I was trying to do. Right, you did your your, your career <laughs> under Chris under Brad. Sorry, under Brad Scott. Your your career, what it was when he arrived mm. to what it is now. Yeah, Brad's been. Um, it's hard to put the list of coaches in order, but Brad's been probably the one who's had as much influence over me as the others. Um, and he's coached me really well in, in the latter part of my career because I, I, some guys at times can probably think that they've it, um, got runs on the board and can be allowed to get away with certain mm -hmm. things, but it's, it's been the complete opposite with Brad. He expects more out of his senior players than he does out of any um, you know section of our, our group. Yeah. Um, and that's been really good. He, he, he's... Um, you know, we've had, he's kept us accountable absolutely in a big way. So I am interested, we saw the highlights of the elimination final there, the two goals you kicked to drag it out of the fire and the Frank the Tank in the aftermath. Um, you were terrible that night until then. We spoke the next oh, day. thanks, Jared. No, yeah. there's, there's no point <laughs> dancing around it. Yeah. But have you had moments where you thought, actually, I might be just about done here and mm. had they lost that final in those circumstances where it might have ended? Yeah, ne never thought I'm, I was done. Still, still never had a thought like that. Um, for the first three quarters of that game, I was pretty ordinary and the, the moment got to me. We hadn't played, I think we played a final maybe two years prior to that one and it got, West Coast smashed us over there. Before that, it was probably 07-08 um, with the last final. So um, feeling as though I had not performing on the big stage um, and letting the occasion get to me wasn't a great feeling for the first three quarters. But once we kicked those, t I kicked those two, once we'd won, the next week against Geelong, one of those feelings that you, you knew you were going to win the game before it even started, so yep. I felt good again. Yep. Last year, you were, was it last year you were in here? Yeah, last year I filled in a little bit. Yeah, you I haven't asked me back this year though. So I said, "Where's, where's, <laughs> where's Drew?" And Jared said, "Leave it with me, 300." <laughs> I said to you last year, Drew, I'm worried about you. You're not taking 
your marks like he like he used to. We we're talking upstairs. I'm not going to lie. Mm. And Kingy said, "There's a bit more aggression in you." And as soon as Kingy said it, I thought, "Yeah, you, you, he's right. You seem to be hitting packs out. I reckon you've always had. Yep. But it seems to be more imposing this year. Is that something yeah. that you've 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 tried to sort of enforce yourself onto the contest more? Yeah, that's the uh, expectation um, of my teammates of me each game. Lindsay, um, Boomer, Higo, all expect me to bring the footy to the deck if I can't mark it myself. And in, in, in modern footy, we see numbers getting behind the footy. So if you've got blokes trying to get in your space, it's just, not, you don't have to mark it, you've just got to bring it to ground and, and bring And you're those marking players. better though. Don't worry about them, but you're marking <laughs> yeah. better, Drew, from that slump you had last year. It was a slump. Yeah, it was. It's just, you know, it's just repetition, practice. Um, Lee Chute has taken over the forward line group at the moment. Um, we've had a massive emphasis on marking all pre-season and all... Ben Brown listened. Yeah, he has. Benny Brown, when he sticks his hands up, hard to beat. Yeah. So, when you look at North Melbourne, you're doing so many things right. And talking about the marking, you know, Ben Brown, Drew Petrie, and that's you, and Jared Waite. When you look at them, you're all marking really well. And it's yeah. made you very, very dangerous. Yeah. More dangerous than last year. Yeah, uh, it has. I think um, the way to start this season has been outstanding. Um, you've actually got to measure your hands um, alongside of his because he's like he's like his fingers are that much longer than most most of most of uh, <laughs> most hands of his out. opponents. Put your hands out. How's your I've got short little fat stumpy fingers. <laughs> oh, the other one. Oh, here we go. So you're little, not that big as no, much as me. But you look at his and he yeah, he's got big hands and he's his timing, his marking technique is outstanding. He jumps early, gets his body positioned really well, and and it's hard for for our opponents to, to defend him. So. Um, but, and Benny Brown as well, uh, you know, as tall as he is, stick his long arms up and he's hard to beat. Put your hand up against... Don't break him, Drew. Oh, no. Nah. Well, geez, I've got longer than you, but... No, no, no. <laughs> Look at that. So Jared waits about up there. Yeah, he is. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to ask something really... I thought was really important, then, but I've forgotten. You look like a player who's got <laughs> the absolute got most out of himself and you're not done yet. In fact, the way you're playing, you're not even close to done yet. Do you feel like you've wrung everything out of the, the talent that you're born with and you're blessed with? Do you think you've got everything out against oh. that? No, I don't think any athlete will ever get reach their full potential. Um, no one will ever reach, yeah, the heights that they, they dream of, but um, I, I still see, like 16 years in, I still see improvement. Like I still see improvement in my game. Like you still, you go to training every single day to try and get better. Um, if you, yeah, if that wasn't your attitude, you'd, you'd, you'd fall short and you wouldn't still be playing after this long. So I see, I see a lot of improvement there. When did you, when did you know, Drew, that when you arrived at the Kangaroos, everyone was looking, saying, "There's Drew, the next Kerry. We need someone to replace Kerry." When did it dawn on you that perhaps you're not going to get to that level? And how has it been able to transition that selfishness out of game on the man I want to do, mm. kick it to me, to this wonderful team player that you've become and has been for a while, but mm. really become? I'm happy if, if Ben Brown marks a ball. I'm happy with Jared Wright, Wait marks a ball. I'm, I'm happy. Yep. When does, how difficult is that transition to go from me, me, me to, yeah. to team, team? Yeah, I think whoever came into North to play in the forward line post carry was going to have, you know, be touted the next carry. I think we see that at other clubs, but I, I never felt that expectation. Um, since Brad's taken over as coach, I've pretty much played five or six seasons as, or six seasons as, um, as a permanent forward. And there were a few years there where most of the time that the footy went inside 50, it was kicked in my direction. It was, yeah. And at the moment, I'm comfortable kicking ones and twos and Wadey kicking fours and fives and Brownie kicking three and, and us winning. I'm happy to, for that. Um, that pattern to flow on for the rest of the year. If we're just winning um, and I can contribute in a small way, I'm more yeah, than happy with that. You'd love to wake up one day and kick six goals oh, in 20 yeah, minutes yeah. again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I would. That was Archer's 300. Yeah. But what a day to perform for... That was a while ago. That, that, was, well we that, was, that was 2007 and I'm still living off that game. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you talk about it. I heard you talk yeah. about it during the week. It was, I, was, I got caught up in the Nine moment. Years Nine ago, years ago, that was at the MCG. Sure. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great day and you know, arch. I mean, you want to, you, you know, put, jump in front of a bus for the bloke. So yeah, no you doubt. wanted to perform for him on the day. It'd be great it's if you got something out of your own day on Sunday. I well, think we'll all be hoping for yeah. it. There's merchandise available to celebrate really? the 300 3DP. 
Um, and I is think this, from uh, everybody... That's a, that's a, that'll fit you, Robbo. Yeah, I was going to say, I've lost a bit of weight, Drew. Yeah, it's you extra notice? large, you should be right. It's large, mate. Large. Might be a bit loose on me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from everybody in footy. Well that's done. Nice, Have mate. a great day. Thank and you. And good luck for the season. This is a, yeah. a richly motivating experience at the moment, I'm sure. Thank you. Drew Petrie with us on AFL 360.